Welcome, noble viewers. This is Vegetarian, a noble way of living. My name is Kwa, and I'll be your chef today. I'm joined by my assistant, Keisha. Hi. And today we're going to make Creamy Mushroom Delight Stroganoff. So now I'm going to introduce the ingredients. Right here we have about a cup of shiitake mushrooms. We have three baby portobello mushrooms. We have about a cup of white button mushrooms. And here we have uh, two potatoes I've diced up and fried beforehand. Uh, if you don't like to fry it, you can bake it. That's always an acceptable option. We have two patties of uh, Boca Burger, vegan. We've got one package of uh, pasta uh, noodles. I'm only going to use about half of that. Um, we have a 12 ounce package of uh, vegan sour cream. We use a tablespoon of vegan butter. We have one can of vegetable broth. We have two teaspoons of salt, a teaspoon of sugar, uh, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, and uh, we're gonna use two teaspoons of uh, vegetable broth powder. And also we're gonna use uh, one tablespoon of soy paste and a teaspoon of uh, soy sauce. So now we're gonna begin by uh, boiling our pasta noodles. So we're gonna get a pot ready, fill it up with water, which I already have ready, and we're just gonna set that over here, let that heat up. While that's uh, getting ready to boil, I'm gonna cut open our bag of pasta. So you know, Kwa, um, is there a particular kind of pasta that you have to use for this dish? Well, Keisha, like any kind of uh, pasta you like to eat, um, this, this dish in particular, we're gonna make it almost like a casserole style. So I'm gonna actually put the noodles inside the sauce okay. uh, instead of like a spaghetti style where you have the, the pasta noodles on the bottom and then you put the sauce on top. Okay. So this one we're gonna mix in there. So I chose to use a, uh, uh, this, this type of pasta. It's like really small. And it's mm -hmm. gonna be really chewy in your mouth. I'm gonna get a pinch of salt. Put that in there, two. This is a one pound package. I'm only gonna use half a pound. That should be plenty. Now, Keisha, would you do me a favor and uh, stir this for me while I cut the mushrooms? Why, sure, Kwa. First, I'm gonna start out with the shiitake mushrooms. So I see, Kwa, you have three different types of mushrooms. Yeah. Um, why do you choose to use three different types of mushrooms and not just only one kind? Well, I like to uh, add a little variety and um, each, each mushroom adds its own little unique uh, flavor and little uh, texture. Mm -hmm. uh, these are fresh shiitake mushrooms. Um, I think if you use the dry kind, the flavor will be uh, very intense and it will like, overpower the other mushrooms. So I think the, the fresh ones would work best for this dish. And um, I like to use the, the baby portobello mushrooms. They're, they add a nice uh, chewy texture as well. And they're really um, very good mushroom all around. You could uh, just grill that up and stick it in a, a hamburger bun, have a little portobello a burger or something yeah. like that. It's very, it's very good. And these I'm just gonna cut in like uh, in fours. I'm cutting them all like in different shapes and sizes, so you know, adds a little different uh, uniqueness to it to each mushroom. So this dish we're gonna plan on making it for a, probably a family of four. Um, I want to continue cutting these mushrooms and. Be back. Okay, Kwa, I think the noodles look just about done. I think you're right, Keisha. Um, as you can see, the, the pasta almost doubled in size. We're gonna strain it out. Mm -hmm. While we're 
we'll let the pasta noodle uh, drain out, uh, we're going to prepare the Boca burger. First, we want to make sure our pan is very hot, and uh, this one is, so I'm going to add the oil. Let's go ahead and spread it around. So, Kwa, I see that you use a particular brand of vegan burger, Boca. Can you find these in most stores? Yeah, lucky for us in uh, the United States, there's a lot of vegetarians here, and um, you can find Boca burger in pretty much almost any uh, supermarket. So, Keisha, would you uh, mind helping me out here and you stir this while I add any other ingredients? Yeah, first I'm going to add the sugar. Teaspoon of salt. Uh, teaspoon of uh, bulk, uh, vegetable broth powder. Okay. Add a little bit of pepper to this. Kind of spice it up. I know I like my dishes spiced up. Yeah. <laughs> I like to use uh, whole peppercorns. It's this, the flavor seems to be more intense. Uh, next, I'm going to add a tablespoon of uh, soy paste. And finally, I'm going to add a teaspoon of uh, soy sauce, or about. And then you can just give that a stir for me. Great. Okay. Now, for the people that don't like soy sauce, what other um, seasoning would you recommend to put in here? Well, if you don't um, like to use soy sauce, then um, just salt is enough. Uh, I like the color the soy sauce gives. Mm -hmm. It gives an extra deep brown color to it, so I, I like to use soy sauce. The best thing about uh, using Boca burgers is, you know, you really don't have to wait for the meat to cook or anything like that mm. because this isn't meat. This is 100% uh, uh, soy protein. So I think this is about ready. I'm going to put this aside and then we're going to cook our mushrooms. Okay, I just got done uh, taking out the Boca burger that we seasoned earlier. And uh, now we're going to saute our mushrooms. And uh, as you can see, I, I didn't really like clean it or anything like that. We just want to keep uh, some of the same flavor. And now I'm going to add a table, about a tablespoon of butter just to give it some nice flavor. And as you can see, I'm using um, the Smart Balance Light, which is 100% uh, vegan butter. This is hot enough, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the mushrooms. And can you stir that for me as I throw these in here? There you go. Okay, and these we just need to season a little bit, just maybe like a couple pinches of salt. Just add a little bit of flavor. Again, just a couple grinds of pepper. And then we'll cook these until um, mushrooms look like they've um, absorbed some of the butter. Okay, hey, while Keisha is uh, stirring our mushrooms here, I'm going to go ahead and open our can of uh, vegetable broth. We're just about done right now. Just got a few more steps here. Well, I can't wait. <laughs> As you can see, the mushrooms have uh, changed colors. They've absorbed a lot of that vegan butter and um, they're, they're, ready, they're good to go. I'm going to pour in our vegetable broth here. I think about half a can is enough. Okay, now we're ready to add in our uh, Boca burger that we prepared earlier. So Keisha, when was uh, actually the last time you ever had this uh, type of dish? Have you ever had this type of dish? Actually, Kwa, I have had this kind of dish. I actually had it when I was very young. Mm -hmm. My grandma, she used to cook it. She cooked it actually about several times. I've had it about maybe three or four times. But when I also ate this dish, she used real beef. Oh. 
Oh, I see. So yes. This is the first vegetarian one. Yes. Oh, good for you. But I've also been a vegetarian since I was eight, all the way till now. Oh, wow. That's great. As you can see, I just added our um, potatoes. And um, next, I'm going to add our pasta that we boiled earlier. <laughs> a nice chunk of it. Just break it up. It's okay. And then to finish this, um, I'm going to add our sour cream. I'm going to use uh, the, whole th the whole tub, which is like 12 ounces. And this is going to give it a nice little creamy texture and uh, white color to it. Adds a lot to, the, to balance the flavors. So, let's go ahead and mix it around. Oh, it looks so delicious. It does. <laughs> I can't wait to try it. <laughs> so I'm just going to uh, garnish this with a, chop up a little bit of parsley. Just add some fresh parsley, give it a nice little color. And we are just about done. Let me uh, make you up a plate. Sound good? Oh, sounds very delicious, Kwa. <laughs> I think I've not been waiting this whole time to try this. Here's yours. Make some for myself. Right, go ahead and try that. Tell me what you think. Oh wow, it's really delicious. Oh, thank you. My first time trying the vegetarian vegan style of stroganoff. And it doesn't d take anything away from the flavor as you remembered it, right? No, not at all. It tastes exactly the same as if my grandma cooked it. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that very much. Um, you are quite the chef. Oh, thank you. You're being uh, too kind. <laughs> but um, thank you for joining us. Um, I hope you had um, a lot of fun watching us and um, I hope you um, try this dish out yourself and um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>